Yeah, the Sasquatch edition. Let's see what we got going on inside. Oh, oh, oh. That don't look good. Airbag recall. A few things apart. Mm-hmm. So impressively enough, I did not realize these handles are held on here. They got some pretty good supports here holding that on. And the cool thing is, these torque screws I thought were just for looks. They actually hold them in place. Very nice. Time to get her back together. So I'm doing this video a little backwards. I already have taken it apart. Uh, so I'll show you a quick uh, how to just to throw it back together. So you have a few screws on the side. There's a couple on the bottom. And then the side over here, these all just snap in place. So we have some pretty long screws that goes in and holds this bottom uh, along the bottom here and this fascia behind the airbag. So I'll get those installed. All right, so we got this guy here, this guy here, we got one here, and you have one here, and one here. So once those are out, if you're removing that panel, that'll come out of there. Okay, we're going to bolt the airbag in, which is a screw or bolt in that bolt. There's two way up underneath here. All right, got those two bolts in up top, two in the bottom. Uh, yeah, you got to use a magnet to put those in. It's obviously you can't reach them. So next piece we're going to do is install the top dash trim. Just held on by a couple screws over the speaker cover, so you have to take the speaker covers out to get them. Other than that, they're just clips. So you have the screw here and one here. And then on the bottom side, you have these three excess pieces, and those come out. So let's get that put on. All right, next we just got to put these pieces in here just to snap the trim in. And we've got our speaker bolts in and I forgot there was a torque screw right here that needs to be installed and after that we can put our centerpiece in and it's just held in with clips so let's get her into place and just nicely pops in ready okay we get the speaker grills in and that should be the finish of the top of the dash and we'll just get the glove box in and snap these other pieces in place. Now we'll get this piece snapped in. This is with our ignition switch on. And it has a few screws holding this in. That goes on next. Okay, this trim piece is on. And there's a screw down here as well, along with that. The rest of it's just snap push pin. Then you got your three on the bottom here. That's it, holds that on, that just pulls off. All right, we'll get the speaker grill put in. So note on putting these in, you have a little edge here. So you have to stick this up in here first. Kind of roll the edge in first, and get it underneath the dash. Try and do this one hand, guys. Like so. And it pops in the place. Like so. Cool. Get the other side in and call it part done. Okay, with the other grill in. Got the HVAC controls put back in. It's held in with a screw right here. And there's one on the other side inside the glove box opening. Up there. Snap this in. So this panel here just clips in. So when you're going to remove that, you can just grab a hold of it in the middle and give it a good pull, and it'll 
unclip itself. It's on hinges, it just folds down. Glove box, pretty easy setup. Just has three hinges on the back. Just have the hinge pins on the bottom here. Just line it up. See it here. And that's it. Then you have the soft pull rod here that just snaps into the hole down here. And that's it for the glove box. All right. Nice. So the last piece of the puzzle here is to install the handles, which is kind of cool. Like say you got this big chunk of the frame that it actually attaches to, so you got the clip. Let's put it in place. Line a little pinhole up, peg hole up top here. Snap it in place. Have our torque screws. Got four of those. Tighten those down and we'll do the other side and call her good. So the tools we used for this project was a trim tool, a seven millimeter, and I used the T30W Torx for the end pieces. Uh, 27 probably worked just as good. Uh, and then we got another eight millimeter here on the extension. When I remove the airbag, a couple trim tools, and then this fancy apparatus, I believe this is a 20. I'll zoom in on it here. Yep, T20. And those are all the tools you need to pretty much remove both his dash on the Bronco. Cool guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.